the one of my videos that I released last week got quite a bit of attention for my standards at least and with that attention came all of these comments basically asking me kev how do you make your money what money making method do you use all that video did was make me realize i have no idea where i make all of my money like, i really thought about it i was like how do i how have i accumulated all of my wealth i can only come up with two solid sources farming and contraband now contraband is not very replicable i get free stuff from close friends or sometimes viewers and not everyone can do that the second money making method that i've been using farming I mean, farming in Minecraft, it's simple enough, right? How, how complicated can it be? The farming in vanilla Minecraft is pretty simple, right? You lay down some water, you till the soil, lay down your seeds, and once they grow, you can harvest them. Now, as we harvest these four blocks of wheat, we get exactly four wheat. Very simple, a toddler can understand it. Farming in Skyblock is about the same thing. Except it's not the same thing at all, and it's 10,000 times more complicated. There are a few things I feel like I should explain before I continue with this video, just to make things... A little easier to understand now over here to the right of the portal is the farmhouse outside you got the farm merchant now she sells some crops and a basic farming tool but in here is where the fun begins you are introduced to jacob and anita who's on the second story now these two they got a little bit of a monopoly you see anita up here he basically sells these farming tools he sells all these quality of life farming items that make farming just so much easier right and she's the only place you can go to get these tools auction house you can't sell them there. Bazaar, you can't sell them there either. Trading, yeah, no, you can't trade them either. The only way to get one of these farming tools from another player is to have that player drop it on the floor, which doesn't sound sketchy at all. But this is a two-way operation because you see Jacob over here, he forces Skyblock players to ruthlessly compete against each other to see who can farm the most crops. Whoever farms the most crops gets the most reward. Now that I've said it out loud, it doesn't actually sound that crazy considering companies do this. In real life anyways with these farming contests you compete against other skyblock players so that you can earn these medals you got bronze silver and gold along with jacob's tickets and with these tickets you can access anita's shop and buy the specialized tools from there if you have a friend who has access to these tools and can get them for you and you trust them i'd recommend getting the tools from them instead because getting the actual medals without the tools is like really really hard i know it makes no sense you need you need to have the tool to get the tool like i said it's super simple the reason these tools are so good is because they boost your farming fortune which is the second thing i want to touch on in simple terms the higher your farming fortune the more crops you get i could go into a lot more detail to explain it but then this video would be like 30 minutes you can boost your farming fortune in a variety of other ways for example the legendary elephant pet gives you a ton of farming fortune especially at a high level anita up here on the second story of the farming house also sells tools that can boost your farming fortune. And obviously you can boost your farming fortune just by increasing your farming level as well. I've spent way too long explaining those two simple points. So we're gonna move on to the actual methods that you can make money from farming. Farming fortune is incredibly important. You probably won't be making that much profit until you get your farming level up to a decent level, which is like 35, 40 or so. That's when farming becomes very, very profitable. So ideally, the first step I would recommend is to increase your farming level. And you do that by farming. I shouldn't have to explain that. If you get a builder's wand, you can build one of these large scale farms at the bottom of your island like I have. But having a builder's wand will allow you to build one of these farms or multiple in a single night. And as you can see, I have put it under my island so it's not distracting. You basically just sit here and you farm. It's that simple. Having the replenish enchantment really comes in clutch because it auto replants all of the crops that you farm as you farm it so you don't have to replant them at all. Pumpkin by far gives the most farming XP out of every single crop in the game. The thing about pumpkins is they're so unbelievably unprofitable that you're barely going to be making any money for your valuable time. Which is why most people actually end up farming cane. Cane is super easy to farm. You just walk at an angle and break all the crops it's very very simple and while you're farming you could probably open up netflix or youtube or something on a second monitor or a different display and just farm while doing that and it doesn't matter what kind of crop you're farming once you're done farming it you can sell it to the bazaar and at a lower farming level that's probably going to be your main source of money when it comes to farming most crops you will sell to the bazaar but some crops like nether wart you'll sell to the npc you can also buy a epic or legendary rabbit pet and heavily increases the rate in which you gain farming levels and sugarcane is a good crop that gives a good balance of farming xp and profits once you reach a decent farming level like i said 35 40 or higher, you can begin farming Nether Wart because Nether Wart actually has the highest sale price in the game. The reason why you don't want to farm Nether Wart in the beginning is because Nether Wart actually gives alchemy XP 
and not farming. So your farming level will stay the same if you farm nether wart straight away and you just won't be getting that much because your farming level will be low. You can simply compare the prices. This is a double compacted potato. So there's 25,600 normal potatoes in this single enchanted baked potato and you can sell it for about 31,000 coins on the bazaar. A double compacted nether wart however which is the same number 25,600 nether warts to form this single mutant nether wart. You can sell it for 77,000. And the NPC sell price for another war is 76,800 coins, which is lower than the bazaar. But after bazaar tax, the NPC ends up giving you more money. And so the first way to make money from farming is just farming. It's that simple. You farm and you sell the crops. However, while you're farming those crops and reaping all the profits you're getting from selling those same crops, you can participate in what's called a Jacob's contest. I mentioned this earlier, but Jacob holds farming contests on the 15th minute of every single hour. You end up competing with a bunch of Skyblock players. You're given 20 minutes to farm the most crops out of all of the other Skyblock players that are farming the same crop as you. If you can score the top 5%, you get a gold medal. If you score the top 25%, you get a silver medal. If you score the top 60%, you get a bronze medal, along with Jacob's tickets and a specialized enchantment book. You can then take these medals and go up to Anita and buy farming tools. And if you need to, you can also convert all of the medals. You can also take the Jacob's tickets and you can sell them to the bazaar. The second method you can profit off Jacob's contest is a little, I don't want to say sketchy. Sketchy is not the word for it, but it's not practical. So basically how this method works is you buy the farming tools or the basket or whatever you want and you sell them to people. You might be a little confused because earlier I said you can't actually auction any of the items or sell them to the bazaar. In fact, you can't even trade the items to another player through the trade menu. You actually have to drop the items to sell them, which is... A little sketchy because there's like only a thousand ways that can go wrong which is why usually i sell these tools to my friends and members on my discord server because i can trust them and if they're an irl friend you can beat them up if they scam you i have sold a ton of these tools and made a lot of money off selling to randoms and i haven't gotten scammed yet i'm probably gonna get scammed after saying that typically when i do sell to randoms i often request they give me half of the money first before i drop the tool that way if they do scam me i only miss out on half of the total price instead of the full price once they give me half i drop the tool and this is the opportunity usually if you do get scammed oh it's not working usually if you do get scammed this is when they leave the lobby or leave the party but if an exchange goes well they request give you the other half and you have successfully sold your jacobs tool so and this is just a hypothetical situation hypothetically let's say you could farm this entire row of potatoes in 20 minutes and make about four to five hundred k from it this is a really rough estimate please don't treat this like they're real numbers and you could also score a gold in a jacobs contest at the same time you could sell that jacobs tool that you got from the gold medal for a million coins plus that 500k profit you made from the potatoes that's 1.5 mil in 20 minutes which isn't like they're not it's that's not crazy but it's not bad, especially for some mid-game players. It's not bad profit, especially because you're going to be watching Netflix the whole time. Or you could be like me and listen to the entire Aladdin soundtrack on loop. Remember the specialized enchantment books that I mentioned earlier? You can slowly but surely collect them one by one. You can then combine them into a higher tier book and sell it on the auction house for a few hundred K profit. That may not seem like that much money for quite a bit of work, but it all slowly adds up. And farming was the main method that I used to save up 90 million coins to get my full Necron set. So, and so from someone who's actually farmed so many hours, I have to say, like, this is, it's the easiest money-making method, right? I mean, you can do frag runs, you can do dungeons, but that all needs you to be active and using your brain power, right? To clear rooms and do puzzles. Farming, no brain power needed, which is great for someone like me. Anyways, that's my sort of guide to farming slash how to make money from farming, which has been highly requested by my Discord server according to the poll that I set up this week. Uh, I probably forgot something in this video. I tend to do that a lot. Yeah, but that's all I have for you. Bye.